And we've been trained how to stay sick. We've been trained how to stay sick, not to get healthy. And anybody to try to get healthy is frowned upon because it's not the norm. And I'm realizing that the norm is getting you uh, unalive. And being, being, being the black sheep is what you need to be. Because everybody that's following this wide-ass road to destruction is doing whatever the hell they want to and they don't care. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, my puppies right now are eight months old and they're between 100 and um, 130 or 35 pounds and they only eat once a week. And when their menstrual cycle come on, they don't eat for between seven to 14 days. Sometimes they don't eat for 28 days, but that's not my fault. The females still eat, but the males won't eat because the males wanna have sex. When you have a pack of dogs, then you'll understand that if you got one dog at home, shame on you because you won't understand it. Grand rising to you. I mean, as you get older, you're supposed to look younger. You don't supposed to get older and look like you're 20 years or 40 years older than you are. You're supposed to look younger. If I'm 48, I need to be looking like I'm 38 or in my 30s. That's how it's supposed to be. You don't supposed to look the opposite way. That's all of what you put into your body. Make sure the Celtic salt has 82 minerals in it. I will be 48 years old. 48. Water by itself is not good. You need water with salt in it. Thank you for the hat or the cowboy hat. When I sit there and explain something to people, I'm teaching people to sit there and be the best version of yourself. I'm already doing it. My dogs already live that lifestyle. I'm passing on my knowledge to sit there and help you get off of the stuff that's ill in you. Once again, where is it at? Um... Again, for the people that, that's on here, sugar, salad. When you sit there and do the carnivore diet, that's how you get loose skin in your body. You keep, loose, you keep the tight skin in your body from sitting there detoxifying your body from the waste. You're not carrying fat in your body. You're carrying waste. You're carrying toxins. You're carrying all the chemicals and stuff that you um, took in throughout your whole life. That's why it's called detoxification of the body. And stop feeding the body, you're feeding the mind. So what I do is I teach people how to feed your mind instead of your body. People have been feeding their body and working off their emotions, feelings, and everything else instead of working off their brain. Chakras. Working from the highest, not the lowest. So that's what you're doing. You're raising up your chakra levels. You're raising up your energy and the vibration in your body by clearing out the, all the toxins and nonsense. That's what you're doing. 100%. Yep, that's exactly what you can do. Stardust makes T2. You don't need testosterone. Your body sit there and makes it. Your body is the way it is because I told you again, the stuff that you put into your That's exactly what it is. Yep, my puppies right now are eight months old and they're between 100 and um, 130 or 35 pounds, and they only eat once a week. And when their menstrual cycle come on, they don't eat for between 7 to 14 days. Sometimes they don't eat for 28 days, but that's not my fault. The females still eat, but the males won't eat because the males want to have sex. When you have a pack of dogs, then you'll understand that. If you got one dog at home, shame on you because you won't understand it. Grand rising to you too. Yep, I'm, this is my 14 day with the water fast. I got 11 more days left before I could sit there and the people that's been doing the challenge with me could come on here and tell you how they feel, what's going on and everything else about them. They haven't stopped their medication. The only thing they're going to do is just going to get reevaluated to get off of it because with a 25-day um, water fast and cleansing, you don't need to be on the medication. All you need to do is keep up the lifestyle that I sat there and showed you. I'm showing you a different lifestyle to make you the best version of yourself, not to make you the worst. Be quiet out there. Before y'all go into the barn and get tied up and put in on damn cages and forced to watch them damn um 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 jailhouse movies that I got y'all with the pound with dogs locked up in the pound and that Sarah McClockin video, them dogs crying and shit, looking poor. Y'all gonna be in trouble. Keep it up with me.
Told y'all, y'all asked me how do I sit there and punish my dogs. I punish my dogs by showing them where their ass could be at. We get in the car, we drive by people's houses and say, see that dog out there tied up? Your ass can be right there. Keep it up. Keep messing with me. See, see that dog right there that's in that little um, shed that's locked up in there? Going to eat that little two cups or half a cup of dry ass shit? Keep on messing with me. Yep, in the arms of an angel. You got that right. That, that's how you train your and punish my dogs. I punish my dogs by showing them where their ass could be at. We get in the car. We drive by people's houses and say, see that dog out there tied up? Your ass can be right there. Keep it up. Keep messing with me. See, see that dog right there that's in that little um, shed that's locked up in there? Going to eat that little two cups or half a cup of dry ass shit? Keep on messing with me. Yep, in the arms of an angel. You got that right. That, that's how you train your dog. You want your dog to act right. It ain't no fences up out there. It ain't nothing. They outside playing around and running around. Raining outside. Copper had to use the bathroom. He's somewhere over there. And there they go. There they go. And the rest of the dogs are locked up in that building back there. Right back there in the building. That's where the rest of